Hello everybody, this is Aistocky here and I am back uh, playing XCOM Enemy Unknown with the uh, the two mod-ons that I the two add-ons that I have modded into the game, the second space and no second wave and war space extended. Pretty sure those are the names of the mod. It's been a while since I've played this. Uh, and I also have kind of forgotten where I was up to, so I'm just going to scan for activity and we will just run with things and we will see how we go. So we have just got weapon fragments, now I can manufacture scopes. Hmm. I'm thinking I want to get beam weapons, that's going to be really important. So let's start with that, it's going to take quite a while. Um, got a lot of money. Let's see if we can get some scopes. Let's go for... Let's go for three scopes and see how we go with that. How the facility is going. Got an alien containment and a workshop coming. We don't have any power for the satellite though, so I'm going to need to... I want to build four satellite uplinks all next to each other because then each one gets a bonus. Got a, got a fair bit of money. Not enough power to run the satellite. I'm going to have to excavate that and put some power over in the corner there. That's a. Actually, can I build power over here? I can, and it's only $60, so let's do that. I'm right out of money though. Um, pending request zero. Like I said, I'm really out of touch with what I've been doing. So let's just go scan for activity and see what happens. Ooh, arc thrower. So does that mean I just built some arc throwers? I'm sure that's what that means. That is excellent news. And before I forget, um, actually let's go to view our current operatives. Let's see if we have anyone that we can name. Currently, Ronan McLeod. That doesn't sound like the name of anyone that I've named. I'm looking at my list, and that's not looking like anyone. So, let's customize you. Your first name is now going to be Sir. And your last name is going to be Epico. Sir Epico. And you are a red shirt, which means you're going to be a 1 and a 6. Mm, actually, what was your name before I just renamed you? You've had no missions, though. I think I might have just renamed someone who might have been... who might have... well, who may have supposed to have been in the team. So let's go, let's go hire some operatives. I'm going to hire another two. And what that should do is hopefully, I have at least one more person I want to add to the list, probably two actually. And that should allow me to add them to the list. Because I think I might have just renamed someone I shouldn't have. Come on. Incoming transmission. Ooh. We are extremely impressed with the progress. <laughs> Great A! Recent results were beyond our expectations. Beyond expectations. That is not a statement this council makes lightly. You know what that means? Awesome. Remember, we will be watching. Now. Situation room. Launch satellites. Ah. I need more satellite. <laughs> more satellites. I need more uplinks. Um, actually, no. Let's go now to the barracks. I click barracks. Come on, people. Get with the program. So, who are the two new people? We have Urs Lebron. Um, hopefully, being a chick won't be an issue. But I'm going to call you Ala Mon A Monaghan. I think I might have already had a Monaghan. I think that might have been the person I just renamed. I'm not totally sure, and I'm fractionally kind of out of the loop a little bit. Um, you are going to be Bob. Ooh, Bobby Z 
zilch. And you're going to be a number six, armor type one. And you are also going to be six, type one. And I've decided to customize. No, dismiss. <laughs> not, not likely. Decided what you really need. Yeah. Okay, that didn't work. Um, nope, not that one either. Yeah. Maybe because I'm in offline mode at the moment so that I can get this mod to work. That looks tougher. Yeah, maybe because I'm in offline mode and this isn't working at the moment, it's not allowing me to see that these people should have the ability to have the cool hair. But whatever. Let's find ourselves another mission. Alien containment. Pfft. Let's go zap some aliens. Alien containment facility online. Let's go to assign you construction and see how we're going. Three days left in the workshop, one day in the excavation, one day for the power generator. Ooh, 401 bucks. Wow. In fact... I might build two more scopes just to make sure that everyone who needs a scope is going to have one. It's probably one more than I needed to get. Oh yeah, kicking up the power a notch. It's an awesome looking generator. Some kind of power some kind of funky fusion looking thing. Actually, let's go to engineering now. Build. No, we want facilities. Should be able to now build a second satellite uplink. Begin. Oh yeah, 14 days and we can put up another satellite. Now I just want some missions. Commander, oh yeah. Another contact. The signature is a little bigger this Ooh, time. Ooh, bigger. A little bigger, hey? Prepare to cop bigger. Shoot it down. Bangs out. Come on, shoot it down, shoot it down, shoot it down, hit it, hit it, hit it. Ah, oh, you suck. You suck, Interceptor. Come on, shoot it down. Come on, hit it. Hit it! Yes! I'm off to so much of a better start than last time. Send in the Sky Ranger. Bam! Bam! We're going to hit this thing hard. Oh, we got Snake Eyes the Sniper. Soon Hansen. Mook. Got. First class Wilson. Ah. Uh, I don't think I want to bring in all my first class people. So I think this time, I think I owe it to Ghost Axe to give him a second run after I accidentally killed him off. So this time we are going to do this. Touching down. We are so going to get him. They're in our own territory too. We're going to be dropping you deep wow. In Nigerian interior for the next operation. Locate the crashed UFO. Sweep it. Ah, crap, 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 crap. I forgot to add the stun guns. I forgot to add the stun guns. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike one is ready to secure the craft. Copy, Big Sky. Strike. <laughs> Okay. Full cover. Full cover. Gotta check which way this map goes. Wow, it goes a long way that way. Yep, it goes pretty much a long way in every direction. That's awesome. Just what we were hoping for. It doesn't go that way at, at all. Um...
Okay, sniper. Kind of bunching the team up a little here, which is generally pretty dangerous, but I, I feel like... I've got two snipers on this mission. How did I end up with two snipers? That is just craziness. Well, whatever. Gonna kick some alien ass. That's what we're gonna do. Gonna hold off on overwatching just for a few seconds. So I've got two snipers, a shotgun guy, and an assault rifle guy. Now, Ghost Axe has a vendetta to settle, so... He's going to head up this way with this sniper. Um, I know it's a dashing move, but high ground's always good for snipers. Ooh, spotted the hostiles too. And now we've got over here our run and gun friend. Where'd they go? I'm feeling like that's a good spot. It's not going to be everything I had hoped for, but I'm feeling like it's some good spot. Oops, we want three for you. Yeah, I know they're there. Oh, come on, those hit him. Well, maybe they kind of went through the mist through the mountain, but that's okay. You are such an awesome pistol marksman. So close, and they still can't see me. Think this is your chance? Take him down. Target down. You, my friend, are promoted. See, maybe it was a good thing for Ghost Axe to become Ghost Axe too. Got to find this ship. kind of tough to really see anything at the moment. There's definitely a bunch of aliens around here, but where are they is the question. Don't want to leave you two by yourself over there, so bring Mr. Mook back up over this way. Kind of sit you in the middle. That's some good cover. And... Come on. And Ghost Axe the Exterminator is going to run a little bit just to make sure that he keeps up. Everyone's overwatching on pistols. Ooh, okay, okay, that's good. It's gonna give me a chance to get behind some cover. Now, I don't want to run and gun just yet. I want to see if we can see anyone first. Next operative. Snake Eyes here. Yeah, I think I think that's a better position to be in just there, because then you're kind of behind that tree. Mm, 
it's going to be tough. I'm going to have to kind of leave you a little bit in the open just so you can shoot. There's going to be lots of overwatching though. Not going to run and gunner do. There we go. Come on. Pistol, pistol, pistol. Come on soon. Yeah, let's be honest. You know, two two pistol headshots in two goes is probably a little bit much to ask. Yeah, and that's a pretty long range shot for a shotgun. They've ducked down behind where they're out of out of sight though. I think I heard something. Hmm. I think. I'm gonna hold off on doing anything with those two. Just until we see how these two go. Mm, yeah, that's a good spot just there. Nice cover. Because I don't know how much further this goes in this direction, so I'm going to have to kind of be cautious and have you kind of cover the flank there. So it's a it's a bit of a ballsy move because if they come from over this side they could end up flanking him. Yeah, in fact it might be a might be a bit too much. Let's I hate to waste the run and gun on a move that's not going to get him in a, into a shooting position. But I also don't want to leave him in a spot where he's going to be a sitting duck either. I can hear them. I can hear that mind meld thing they do. Now I can only assume that they've done some kind of... some kind of move where they are in, are in some kind of cover or they're on overwatch. It's always a bit risky with these kind of things. Because you've got to get yourself into a good shooting position, but you've got to kind of keep yourself in cover as well. And that's a better that's a better view. When you don't know where the enemy is, you've got to try to take heavy cover wherever you can get it. I think that's a good spot just there. I mean, you're clearly not going to be able to shoot with the sniper rifle, but at least with the pistol you can still overwatch. Uh, I, I mean, I know where they are. I'm just not game for anyone to stick their head up until... Okay, they're mine melded. I'm just, yeah, I'm really not game to kind of have anyone stick their head out until I know they're going to get them. How are we doing there? They've got heavy cover, but that's a good shot. What does that button do? Let's just hold off for a second. Oops, wrong way. Until I know exactly what we're kind of getting into here. Maybe I can come around the back and flank them. No, it's not looking that good. I'm just really not feeling. Just can't. Okay, there's the edge of the map. That's not too bad. I don't feel like the ship's going to be there, so I'm feeling like the ship's going to be over. That looks like it. Just there, okay. I think I'm doing the right thing now. I think I'm spreading out in just the right directions. Um, oh, the question is, do I take the shot now? You know what? I think I'm going to overwatch. And if he pops out of cover, then I'll probably get a better shot. Uh, see, that was a risky move.
So that's what you get when you kind of you, you wait just in case they might pop out. So now, clearly, they've shot actually. So clearly, if I can get to some better cover, closer. Ooh. I'm not going to take that shot just yet. I want to see if our friend over here can help. No. But if I lob that grenade there. That's going to be the end of that one. And now you... Yeah, you can't shoot with that. Or can you shoot with that? No, you can't shoot with that. But you're going to have an excellent opportunity to pop that guy. And I think... No, he's the receiver of the mind meld. 50% chance of critical, though. That's a pretty good chance. Ah, oh, soon, soon, soon. Come on. Definitely seen the alien ship there. So... Got to try and get myself up to that, that cover position there. I can't believe you missed! Got yourself in a bad spot now. Incoming over here. This is a disturbing sight, to say the least. It's hard to differentiate where the organic material ends and the machine begins. Come on. It's not going to win any beauty contests. That's sure. Missing! Come on! Come on, guys, we're a team! Two of them. Hundred percent chance. Sixty-six percent chance. Was that a hundred percent chance with a pistol? No. Yeah, hundred percent chance with a pistol. That's worth taking. Dead and gone. Don't know what it is about the pistol, but there's something about it that helped. Now your job is to exterminate that other guy from behind. 100% chance, shoddy blast to the face. BAM! Uh, you gotta be more than a little green man to take a shotgun blast to the face and survive. Now what do you got? 68%, 25% chance of critical. That's worth the shot. And, because you're a trickster, you're going to put your gun through the hole in the tree, apparently. Mm. Yeah, I'm thinking that's the spot just there. And then hopefully lay down some covering fire when the next one moves. Come on, move. You move. Come on, move it. Move. Jump out. They're starting to lose ground. Yeah, I wouldn't necessarily call that losing ground. It's more just they didn't move. Um, you're going to run and gun and we'll see if we can't get you somewhere good. That's a heck of a run. Pump those little legs. But we got him flanked. It's a long shot though. Yeah, range. Minus 32%. That's worth it if you can hit. BAM! Why is that not cover? You gotta dash to get in half cover. Think in every stretch of the imagination, that's a bad idea, dashing to get into half cover. At least dashing to get in full cover, you got something. And here we still have... We still have ghost axe to cover. And our sniper. You are gonna run. 
to there. Running moves are generally pretty bad, but I, I just have this feeling that you're going to live. Yeah, look at that. Ah, oh, man, why can we never get you quite close enough? So you are going to reload. I feel like it's going to be Ghost Axe just doing ass covering this whole mission. And got to bring the sniper up a little. Pistol over, watch anyone moves, they're gonna get a cap in their ass. Come on. Oh wow, they didn't move. Maybe we haven't got close enough yet to trigger them. How do we not get close enough yet to trigger them? We're basically in the ship. Open that door. That's such a cool door effect. I think every door should have an effect like that. Okay. Stop moving the camera focus. You camera focus moving game. Got you inside the ship. Hope that's not a move I'm going to regret now. No, it's only half cover. Hoping the rest of my team is going to cover you. That's how we do things here. The teamwork. Oh, man. I hate this whole not knowing what's going to happen. Sucks being left out in the open. No, wait. You're going to overwatch with the sniper rifle. Because that's the way things happen. There's a lot of this ship to cover. Come on, just bad guy move. Ah, oh, they're, they're in there. I know they're in there. What do you got? You cover that door. Now you... Why can we not... That's not a door. Ah, that's a solid wall. Okay. That might give us some flexibility then. Maybe we can get you prepped for next turn. There's no... There's no cover anywhere. Going in for the kill. So you're going to have to run and gun. See if you can find a good spot on the inside. There's no good spots on the inside either. I feel like I might have just wasted a run and gun. Well, I guess that's got to be better than nothing. At least we can still overwatch. They pop their head through, you're going to shoot at them at least. Oh, and then nothing happens. Why did you just turn the camera? I clicked on you. No, I clicked on you.
Yeah, so I've got this door covered now, which means you don't have to be there anymore. You can now move to where you are. And you can now move to this side of the door. Open that door up. You can overwatch. And you can overwatch. And then hopefully, uh, not quite. So hopefully we can bring you around and you can overwatch, but that's going to have to do. It's close, but it's, I mean, it's not quite there. I think they're, I think they're inside there though. Ooh, maybe they're even further back. Hmm. It's going to make things challenging. So what kind of layout are we looking at here? There's a big section of the ship in that direction that I haven't really seen yet. I'm feeling like you're going to have to just kind of hold the rear flank while the assault trooper runs in. Now there's a lot of scope for some bad guys to be up here. That's going to give me good cover in that direction, but nothing from over here. That might have to be it. That's the best balance of cover it looks like. Now your job... Uh, that's dashing, so... Wow, this is like a really slow by the numbers kind of move through this ship. <sighs> Where could they be? It's going to have to be through that door. Here they come. Okay. Oh, we got him. flight computer could prove to be extremely useful in our own research. Please take great care in returning it to the base in one piece. Okay. I promise I'm going to try. Now you're flanked. That's what that symbol means. So you're going to have to dash. Now you... It's not an ideal move, but... I'm feeling this move. Got him. Operational objectives okay. Excellent. Man, from that range though, <laughs> with a stun gun. But, you know, it's one of those things. Sometimes you just can't... You just can't always get what you want. But I feel like that was an overall pretty good mission. It's good to get back into this too. It's like, crack the knuckles. Get everything back. Ghost Axe. Excellent. We finally got that man promoted. And he's a heavy. Nice. And Mr. Mook has been promoted. Assault Trooper. Oh, yeah. Do we want aggression or tactical sense? You are so going to get shot at, so... Boosted Defense. And soon's been wounded and he's going to be out for a couple of days. That's that's bad news, but there's not much I can do about it. Look at that. Two damaged flight computers, two intact flight computers. So, to the situation room. Everything damaged gets sold. And we keep the stuff that's not damaged. Get rid of most of those corpses as well. Eh. What am I going to do with a corpse? I think we are looking pretty good now, and in one day we will have the scope. Um, I hope you guys have really enjoyed this episode. I've enjoyed getting back into this, and I might see if I can do another episode tomorrow night. Now, for those of you who watch my A Stocky Pack Let's Plays, I'm going to be doing an A Stocky Pack co op tomorrow night. Um, check my Twitter feed, I'll have the IP and the details of how to connect to the server on that. Thanks very much for watching. Hey, stock here.